Carlos Nelson with Cascade Sports here at the Independence Event Center. Uh, Coach just had a big win. You've seen his uh, pre-game interview. Uh, for you that haven't seen the pre-game interview, check out the pre-game interview with Coach. Hey, Coach, tell them who you are. Same team. Hey, Coach, talk about the game. You know, one of the big keys that we went into in preparation was handling the basketball because the because Sacred Heart does a great job of mixing up presses, half court, full court stuff, and I thought our guards did just a phenomenal job hitting the ball where we needed to attack in the right way. So that was a big key. After the first quarter, we kind of settled down, uh, swung the ball, everybody touched it, and I thought that was big too. We kind of got everybody involved with the offense. Uh, speaking of the first quarter, uh, was it a tight game? I was in the back here doing interviews, so I really didn't get a chance to see a whole lot. Yeah. Tell our audience a little bit about that kind first quarter. Right the first quarter, uh, we, we just didn't take care of some issues like we needed to or get everybody involved. We kind of shocked with it. Uh, we are more of an inside-outside team. We kind of took some early three versus like a seven in this offense. Because uh, while I was out there, it seemed like the first quarter, they got a little bit of confidence. Yeah. And and uh, after interviewing your players earlier, I was like, it looked like that you should have the advantage because you had the bigs. Uh, some of the kids were looking real confident, but you was down. And uh, when I came back out uh, at the end of the first quarter, it seemed like your team must have settled down and you start getting in your rhythm. Right, yeah, they kind of tapped us off the dribble, offensive rebounds. Um, penetrating seams and we were kind of standing still. They were finding people early on. But we made some adjustments. I think it was more just them relaxing and understanding how we got to uh, force them into making extra passes and, and really guard a little bit, a little bit differently. And we ran a, a press that we've been practicing, but haven't shown a lot, and that kind of helped us out a little bit too. We got a couple of easy turnovers. Uh, I, off that's, that's what I was just getting ready to ask you. Do you think turnovers played a part? It, it helped uh, when we turned them over, but I think both teams pretty much took care of it. We had opportunities almost every possession to get a shot off, but we had some advantage on the boards. I don't know what we ended up, how we got to buy, but we had some putbacks and stuff that allowed us to be comfortable with shooting because we had a chance to go rebound. So uh, it's on to the next one, Coach. Final four. That's right. I'm like Jay-Z. It's on to the next one. You all look like you all look you look like you're ready. Uh, do you know who you're going to uh, – uh, face off against yet? No, I need to look it up. I haven't checked into it yet. I gotta you know, do some research and find out who can play and everything. So. Hey, coach, you you looked real good coming down the stretch. For a minute, I thought that they lost their concentration. Uh, they let them come back a few more points, but then your team took care of the ball real well. The uh, coming down the the home stretch. And you uh, look like you had pretty good uh, foul, foul shot percentage shooting. Yeah, I think, you know, down the stretch we didn't do some things. We kind of let them get to the rim. We fouled them. We got to, you know, we ne you never play perfect. You just kind of strive for that. That's something we can just keep working on and understand how to close out games. Yeah, so that game would have been tighter, but in a different situation. So you just got to learn from it. And the good thing is you can do that after a win and advance on. Pleasure having you on the show, Coach. Wish you the best of luck. Thank you. All right.